Is that an 8-inch phablet in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's an 8-inch phablet. Ah well, carry on. Today at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Note 8, an 8-inch phablet that takes all of the best features of the Galaxy S and Note and squeezes them into what you can view as either the perfectly sized tablet or a monstrously oversized phone. First up, the specs. The Note 8 has an 8-inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, which if you're counting pixels per inch, puts it at 189 versus the iPad Mini's 163. Under the hood, it's sporting a 1.6 GHz quad-core A9 processor running on Android Jelly Bean 4.1. In addition to a 5 megapixel camera, Samsung also added new features to the S Pen stylus, like the ability to hover over tiles and apps to give you mouse over text, or for you clip art fans out there, you can apparently summon clip art into your emails by hand and writing the name of the image you want to appear. But the biggest feature of all to the Galaxy Note 8 is that the international version will also be a phone. Yep, someday, somewhere, there's gonna be a businessman making a multi-million dollar decision while holding an eight inch tablet up to his ear. But if you're a phablet size queen and want something a little more manageable than say Samsung's eight inches, Asus announced its seven inch phone pad. And like the Note 8, the phone pad has a 1280 by 800 display and runs on Jelly Bean. But unlike the Note 8, Asus knows that anyone who takes photos with a tablet kind of looks like an a-hole, so they just ditched the back-facing camera altogether in favor of a muddled 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera. Both phablets have yet to announce pricing or official dates, and as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. However, both of these devices kind of bring up a couple of interesting questions, at least for me. Like, do any of you really want a phablet in the first place? I mean, the convenience of having a tablet and a phone in one device is appealing to some, but how much convenience are you willing to sacrifice for portability and comfort? Let me know down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and share the show with your friends. Also, as always, we're taking your questions for tech feedback. Hashtag them with feedback, or if you want a chance at a shirt, send us your question on video. Last week, we had three entries, and frankly, we have a whole box of shirts to give away, so if you want one, send us a video question to use on the show. For TFN, I'm Scott Brownlee saying, using a phablet like a phone looks just as ridiculous as people side-talking on a Nokia N-Gage. Anyone else remember the side-talking rage? Anyone? You gotta hold the phone on the side. Just me. Oh my god! Nokia yeah, Engage. It's that thing you played. I had to talk holding the phone like this. No one. No one likes an Engage.